Hey guys, Chris here with Metro Building Outlet. I'm getting ready to do a quick walk around. We've done this before, but just so some video of uh, us loading a truck, or loading a building on a truck, rather. Um, I'm waiting to see what they're getting ready to pack up. I stepped into one of the buildings so you could hear me because once I'm out there with a 600 horsepower diesel running, you're not gonna hear anything. Uh, not to mention there's a generator on the trailer that uh, operates the uh, hydraulic uh, components that pull the building on onto the trailer. We'll do a walk around here in a second, uh, and then I'll get this edited and get it loaded up. And if you guys have questions about the process, um, feel free to ask either on MetroBuildingOutlet.com's Facebook page, or you can also put them directly in the comments below, and I'll do my best to answer what I can. Thanks. just a second just so you guys can hear me this is the mule it's a hydrostatic device uh, basically uses a hydraulic drive off of a diesel engine it can pick up the building and move it uh, up to a 16 by 60 actually very very large or with the fully finished ones that have bathrooms up to a 16 by 50 um, it allows us to move a building literally within an inch it's very very precise there's also a set of wheels here on the gravel we don't use them in your yard, there's gonna be a set of pneumatic tires that'll allow them to move even a gigantic building very, very carefully without damaging the ground. Obviously, it's gotta be dry, but it's a pretty amazing device. I'm gonna run back out there and let you guys take a look at that again, and then we'll look at it as it's loading up on the trailer. It literally looks like the building's moving itself.
you hear me, but if you actually see, he's walking around with a remote control that will now manipulate the trailer. Slight delay in the action. Sorry, slight delay in the action. I know you guys can't hear me out there at all. Um, I don't know if you guys saw, he turned up the generator that actually uh, operates the trailer. It's got its own power source. Um, there's a slight delay. They're dealing with some paperwork stuff that needs to go back to the other office. So while they're taking a break, I'll walk in and talk about it for a second. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed, he's got a remote control in his hand. That remote control is up, can operate um, all the major lift and the articulation in the trailer completely remotely. Um, I know it's not super high tech or anything, but it's kind of cool because it allows him to get into uh, better angles, better views to be able to see what's going on. Um, this one's fairly simple because it's like a 12 by 24. When it gets up to like the one I'm in right now, a 16 by 60, 900 square foot that weighs over 20,000 pounds, it's a whole different story. So. That building is actually, that small one is actually quite heavy because it does have a bathroom in it. I wish we had walked through that, but it's about to leave. And I, I'll get to uh, I'll get to another one as quick as I can get one back in stock, guys. Uh, we're going to take a break. We'll come back here in one second for you guys and uh, finish this up. These are the pneumatic tires we were talking about that can go under the skids of the building. He's just going to take a minute now to lash the building down, basically just to uh, put the toe straps underneath the skids. Um, they'll reload the mule and they'll be on their way. Um, to take that off to be somebody's new uh, tiny house is what that happens to be. So um, check us out, Metro Building Out. Sorry guys, I didn't realize he was loading one more building, so I'm going to run out there real quick and get a shot of that. Give me just a second to see what two of them look like in a trailer, because it's kind of an oddball. See Jim locking the straps down into place so that this thing doesn't go anywhere. It's super, super heavy. I know you can't hear me. This is a waste of time.
another look at the mule. So you guys uh, may have seen a set of clamps that were on chains that rolled up and grabbed the front lip edge uh, of the what we call the apron of the skirting of the building, grabbed it and pulled the building up on up with the first one. That same track, once that's in there, goes down and slides completely under the building without touching it, goes over and grabs the second building. It's a pretty cool little piece of articulation. Um, with both those on there, with that tea house and with that building, that's just shy of 50 feet. I believe that's a 46 foot load and there's a little space in between. That trailer actually, it's like a transformer. It quite literally has a coupler in there and it spreads out and will get longer. It'll actually go to a full 60 foot length without any major overhang on the back. So it's pretty cool. There's only a few of these like this in the country. Um, to the best of my knowledge, it's the only one in the state of Oklahoma. I think the other, the other uh, two companies that have one are in Texas and Pennsylvania. So it's a very unique item. It was very expensive, um, but we've got a total of three of them actually. Um, the mule, I'm gonna get more specs on that. I know it's like a 10,000 pound lift on the front. It will actually drag far more weight than that though. Um, I know it can move in excess of a 20,000 pound building, no problem. Um, especially once they're up on wheels. We can lift up one end, they slide those dolly wheels underneath, come around, grab the other end, and uh, they can even put wheels centered in different places and it'll just kind of slide them. It's kind of cool. Um, I'll get more specs on that. Any questions you guys have that maybe I haven't even thought of? Um, I've been around all this stuff for years and years, so I don't, I don't give it a lot of thought sometimes until, I'm, until somebody asks me a question. Um, recap this again, I'll edit the other one out from earlier, but 918-258-5050, metrobuildingoutlet.com, metrobuildingoutlet slash Facebook, or excuse me, facebook.com slash metrobuildingoutlet, and we're over at 24411 East Highway 51 in Broken Arrow. Uh, and these buildings can be shipped anywhere in the state of Oklahoma and as long as they're not on a rental they can be shipped across state lines at least for a limited range. We do run into places especially in Arkansas, Missouri where um, these are too big to get a, a wide load permit for in some areas where there's elevation but anywhere in Oklahoma we can take up to a 60 foot building. Like, subscribe, ask us questions. Thanks guys. One other quick thing I want to add to, the, add to this, uh, that tea house is kind of an interesting item. That was one of the very last ones we built and we quit putting them out at locations for people to see them. I will still totally build you one, I have no problem with that. So if you guys are interested in that, you can call and get quick call, ask questions and get pricing on those. I just don't have them out for displays. We've, we've really run out of room at every single location. And so anything that's not a real for sale inventory item, we've kind of gotten rid of. But there are still horse barns, the wooden horse barns, there are still um, the large chicken coops, loafing sheds, tea houses, and gazebos available. I just don't have a live display anymore until we get more space. So I just want to do that quick caveat there before we go. Thanks.